¿Qué pasó, everybody? It's me, Pancho. Coming to you from Lazy Days Ahead, otra vez. Because Mrs. Lisa, she's gonna make me some salsa. Mm -hmm. Oh, my comida that I love to eat. It's gonna be good. How y'all doing, everybody? You got Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse. And Lisa. And you know, I, I had to bring her in this time because she's doing a video today that was by request. Okay, it's not just one that we come up, no, it was by request. Somebody wanted Lisa to do something with... Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Salsa. So guess what we're gonna make? Texas very best salsa. Mm-hmm. So y'all come salsa with us. Just saying. We're not doing the salsa challenge. We're doing a collaboration called Jar ja of July. You see, I can't even finish the sentence. You were gonna say jam it up. No, I wasn't gonna no, say no it wasn't. I was gonna say jar jammer jam it jar it jar, jar it up July two point oh no, it's not even a two point oh see folks, they gave me the wrong information. I don't even get the facts right because they're giving me wrong information. Okay, so it's Jar it up July 2023. You got a lot of tomatoes. What's this over here? You got your so bowl. You making soup? So I've got to peel, peel, cut, and core the tomatoes. Okay, so you got to peel, cut, and core each so tomato. To make it easier to peel, then you, you you cut an X in the bottom. Okay, cut an X. Okay, and you put it in the boiling water. Does it X mark the spot? X marks the spot. It'll no. take maybe a minute or so for the skins to start cracking. And then that's when I take them out and I put them in an so, ice water bath, which I don't have the ice out Okay, yet. so what you're telling me is that little X helps the skin or helps the heat of the water penetrate the skin and cause it to help you peel it off. To, to cr causes the skin to crack. Okay down the sides and everything. And when that happens, then I will take them out, put them in the ice water bath, which I'm fixing to get ice in there. And then that make, that stops the cooking process and that makes it easier to peel. Wow. You see folks, you learn something every day on lazy days ahead. You just thought she was lazy. <laughs> I'm the lazy one. She's the one that does all the work. Well, look at that. We're a team. I do, I do the cooking work and you do the editing. So I'm gonna let those sit in there for a minute or two. That's a nice knife you got there. Mm-hmm, cut many fingers on it already. All right, so if you guys don't know, we have an affiliate page and um, these will be on our affiliate page. If you look down in the description, you'll see the link. It looks like you got some jarred up July uh, mason jars. You got them all sterilized or sterilizing. Yeah. If you're looking at that, those lights back there, look, Lisa's got some hydroponics going on over there. Okay, so you see this one? Okay. How oh, it's cracked. Oh, okay. Split, or split down the side. So drop it in the cold ice the water. ice water bath, and this one too, because you can see. I'm split a little bit, yeah. Splitting, splitting down. And this is called side. blanching. Yes. Okay. Y'all keep brant blanching, folks. Not quite. So it just makes it in the ice water bath. That's a nice little scoop you got there, Lisa. Mm -hmm. I think you can find that one on yes. our affiliate page. Yep. Why do you like that one? Well, then it drains all the water. Oh, okay. And I don't pick up all the water. That one's a little bit more. Okay. So once this is put it in there for a minute or so and see, skin just comes right off. Look at that. Look at that. And so I will dehydrate these later on. Yeah, to make, save the skins, folks. To make uh, tomato powder. Save the skins, and, folks. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in my bowl here, glass dish, because then I will have to core them. Don't take out the seeds, because you use the seeds in the salsa. Um, and then I chop them up. 
But save those scores too, because you can put those with the with the skins. Yes, you can put the scores with the the scores with the, the skins. scores with the skins. <laughs> okay. The the cores cores with the skins yeah. to dehydrate later on. And this makes some awesome tomato powder. So let me get this. This one looks like it's ready. Close to it, please. We don't want to cook them too long. We want to make sure that they you want to save that the ice sauce. water stops the cooking process. Yeah. See, they just pretty much just slip right off. Yeah, just disintegrate almost. And you don't want the skins in the salsa because nah, they're they're so. hard to chew and they get um, sometimes they have a little bitter taste in the skins and then you get the skin stuck in your teeth and everything. So once I get these all blanched and cored, I mean uh, blanched and peeled, then I will... Show us the next step. Yep. Híjole, señores, señora. I'm gonna get some salsa today. Mm -hmm, muy bueno, híjole. Now that I have the skins off, I'm gonna chop them up. I'm going to core them, put the cores to save, to dehydrate later, and I'm, um, then I'm gonna chop them up, put them in here, and then uh, we'll go from there. But everything, the recipe comes out of the ball, it's a ball book. There you go, folks. Fresh vegetable salsa on page 201. So you don't need to write down anything, the recipe will be in the description. There'll be link or oh, on a recipe card. I'm sorry, it will be on uh, all the ingredients and how to do it will be on a recipe card. You can just print it off, and there you go. Now what? I'm gonna chop the tomatoes, cut the tomatoes up, and uh, put you, the cores in here to save me, later for dehydrating. You need me to show you how to do it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> This is almost like an apple. You cut it just like an apple. Pour it. Tomatoes. Yeah, okay, so I used Roma tomatoes because those, like you see, they have more flesh, more meat. More meat and less. And less juice, like your big slicers that you would use goobly for. Goop. I call it goobly goop. Well, but yeah, so the, sli the big slicers that you would use for sandwiches and stuff, they have more, more juice and seeds and stuff. These have more meat on them, so they make salsa, good salsa. And see that one? Yeah, I mean that core right there, but it's really not. The cores tend to stay harder. They're hard to, they don't cook down like the outside. They sure smell good, Some of the tomatoes smell really nice. I've got seven cups of chopped, cored, peeled tomatoes. Those will go into the pot, and then um, then I will be back. We will show you what's the next step. This is a stainless steel. Um, Fat bottom. Yeah, <laughs> heavy bottom. Heavy bottom. Heavy okay. bottom pot. Heavy bottom pot. So we got this at our local farmer's market, and um, I love it. It's my favorite pot to use for any of my anything, jars, jams. And it's, it's deep, so she doesn't worry about it running so, over. Right, so I've got my seven cups of tomatoes. Okay. Only in the pot. Every one Okay. I've got all my tomatoes in the pot, okay. ready to go. So now I'm gonna work on my jalapeno peppers. It calls for eight cord, 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 and seeded Jalapenos. Now, now I got a question. 
Are you wearing gloves? Because I am Martin, wearing gloves. Because Merton and Sue, no. Merton and Sue wears gloves. <laughs> are you Are you doing this in honor of them? No, I'm doing it because when I cut these open, you I don't, don't want to get the my hands. Yeah. Oh, I got you. We'll so burn. they're not from Merton and Sue. No, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, sir. Traveling Merton so, and Sue. Anyway, so I'll show you a neat little tip. Oh, oh neat little tip. There you go. So this is a potato peeler, apple cork peeler, whatever. That's not a That's not a potato. Potato. Potato peeler. <laughs> that's a potato peeler. And she's stabbing the thing. Going around and then you just Wow. Don't you want to keep the seeds? Not for this. Oh, no. Not for that part? Okay. Yeah, they're hot. Ooh, if smell you, it already. <laughs> if you want a hotter salsa, yes. But this is going to be a mild one. She, this is dipping style. I mean, if you're in a restaurant, you got some dipping uh, salsa. This is what she's making. Ooh, I can smell that over here. It's just mm -hmm. one. And this is this is a, it's a chunky salsa. It's a medium, okay. chunky salsa. But it's good. It is good. So I'm going to cut it up, and I'm using my same. Tomato knife, okay. just because it's sharp, and I like it. It's so I'm cut it just like I did the tomatoes. So I did my eight jalapenos and I'm putting them in the pot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It smells just like jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! No, duh. Okay. You have sinus problems, folks? There you go. <laughs> now, what you gonna do? Uh, the bell pepper. Bell pepper? Okay. Bell pepper. Any color would you like to have? Any a, color. A, a bell pepper? How about an orange one? So I'm gonna do a little bit of the. It only calls for. How about a yellow one? <laughs> yeah. It How about a red for, one? Cause call for one cup of bell pepper. How about a green one? So, I'm gonna do a little bit of each color to make a cup. Just to brighten it up, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna seed them and core them. And then I'm just going to cut them up like I did the uh, jalapenos. I think I'm only going to do half. And I may save the seeds and dry them out. You never know. Yeah, why not? You could try to plant them, right? Yeah. Well, not all of them, but yeah. So cut them in strips like I did the jalapenos. All right, so you got all the peppers cut. Look how pretty that is, folks. Hmm? Look at that. Only in Pyrex. <laughs> all right, so now what? And pour them in. Pour them in the pot. You got all kinds of stuff in there. It's mm -hmm. gonna be one big old salsa. Mm -hmm. Where's the chips? Not I'm, yet. I'm ready. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> now I am gonna can this also, so. I don't know if we said that at the beginning. 
but I am gonna can this. Okay, so you're gonna leave some out for me to eat, right? Then yeah. you can the rest? Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, onion is two cups of coarsely chopped onion, so I'm gonna need probably. Okay, I'm gonna use the same knife. This is coarsely chopped, but I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna chop it a little bit finer than coarsely chopped. If that makes any sense to y'all. And I peeled right. this one earlier, so this one doesn't now, have the skins on. Now, you, you, I don't know if this is true or not, but they say if you freeze an onion, you won't get any tears. Oh, I don't know. That's, that's what I heard. Now, I don't know. I've, I've never seen it done. Well, I saw it done, but I've never done it, so um, no crying aloud. Too late. You should have told me this yesterday. Okay, the other, the peppers and the jalapenos, tomatoes, whatever, I cut it by hand, but I do have this little thing here, um, little chopper, put it in here and it comes down and, and it chops. Okay, so, so somebody has a chopper, they can use a chopper, they don't have to do it by hand. Correct. Or I'm sure you could probably do it in a, um, what'd you say, or your food processor? Yeah, especially when it comes to onions. Yeah. Now the peppers don't make you don't make you cry, but but uh, the onions. So. Okay, so I got my onions cut up, chopped and putting them in. So if you remember, I took all the tomatoes and I saved the tomato skins. I dehydrated them. So I'm gonna put them, finish putting them back in here. So was that just a jar? No, this is- That's this your bullet is jar. Neutra bullet jar. Okay. So I'm fixing to- Oh, so the magic's fixing to happen. Yeah. So and these were the cores and has some of the seeds on them. Those are dry. Well, let me just say, I'd hate to be a tomato leaf about now. Yeah. Or a tomato skin. skin. <laughs> so I'll put it in. Put the lid on. That's all the tomato skins. I had all these layers filled up. I didn't have a space left. So I'm going to push it down and we're going to watch it. Like a tornado in there. And you have tomato powder. Voila. Mm. So what's you that good smell. for? Tomato powder. Well, this recipe of the salsa. If you stop shaking, I can, I can videotape it. She's over shaking. <laughs> shaking and shaking and shaking. There this, you go, folks. This uh, salsa recipe calls for tomato paste. So I took some. Wow, it just it smells like a V8. Yeah, tomato paste, uh, tomato powder, added hot water to it, and it's one one part tomato powder to two parts water, and I made my own tomato paste. You can you can do it as thin as you want or as thick as you want. There you go, folks. Tomato powder or tomato paste. Mm-hmm. And so that's uh, so yes. Can, no waste. That's right. No waste. And it smells good. I'm going to close it back up just to keep the... The aroma in there? The, the, yeah, the aroma. It okay, smells so, really so good. So what do you got going on over here? Hey, Pancho, why are you hiding behind the trees back there? No, senor. There's no trees. It's cilantro. It's for the salsa that Miss Lisa is going to make me for tonight. I'm going to have enchiladas and tacos and, and, and tamales and... I love my salsa. Mm -hmm. So I got the, the, the jar still clean. The jar is or, heating up. And there's where we added the onions. Okay. The onions was the last thing. So I'm going to do, it calls for a half a cup of chopped, loosely chopped cilantro. Okay. And so, then. So how many, how much of that are you going to need? Uh, half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup of. Leaves um, or leaves and stems? No, just the leaves. I don't. Um, okay. So 
So this is half a cup for one, one, of, batch. one batch. But look at all that goodness in there. Woo-wee! Okay, now I have it all removed from the stems. I'm gonna, it says finely chopped, but I'm gonna chop it and put it in. Man, I love that cutting board you got there, girl. Look at that. Ooh wee That's courtesy of none other than Chuck and Blenda from Life with Blenda and Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave us that last year uh, when we went to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. She uses it all the time. I don't get to put it in a video all the time, though. But yeah, she loves that cutting board. Those leaves are getting a little bit too close to that flame there, Lisa. Be careful. <laughs> well, they're not not—they're not dry, so they won't light up. Oh, okay. Just saying. Mm -hmm. That cup you got there, where'd you get that? Lake 10 killer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice... Very, very good meetup that they have. Mark, um, Mike and Terry. That should blend in well with all of that. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Okay, tomato paste, tomato paste. So it calls for one can of tomato paste, which is five ounces. So yeah. I like that. I like that <clears throat> holder you got there, Lisa. Where'd you get that? Mm -hmm. That was a, a gift from a look at that, folks. Co-worker. That's her. When I worked. Her ball book holder. Three quarter cup vinegar. Okay. Half a teaspoon of ground camino and three equivalent of three cloves of garlic okay. chopped. So I'm gonna put those in. This is the camino. This is the garlic. Camino is ground cumin. Some people that may not know it's camino. Uh. That's why I'm, that's why I'm, I'm, her, I'm that's, her interpreter, folks. That's all I've ever. Yeah. Well, when your mom. Yeah, well, because well, that's what they call cook, it. Cook. That's all. That's all she ever. My well, mom taught her how to cook. She's, well, she tacos. She it's not her fault that she's not a good t good student. Hey. <laughs> Resemble that remark. Okay. Are you gonna put up this much paste in there too? Yes. So how, how much paste is that? Is that like two cups? It's equivalent to two cans. Oh, two cans, two eight ounce cans? I'm doubling the recipe, but right. um, it's a 5.5 .5 ounce can. Okay, 5.5 5 5 ounce cans of tomato paste. For one recipe. But you notice Lisa made her own paste, so she didn't have to go yes, buy any. That's right. That's it's all about the, thrifting. That's what the tomato powder is good for. Oh, wait, look at all that. Of course, like she said, this is a double. She's giving you the recipe in a single dose, but she's making a double dose. Double dose, double she, batch. A double <laughs> batch, because I, she knows I like salsa. Well, I do too. Yeah. Especially on eggs, with chips. Oh yeah. All right, on, on. Okay. okay. So now we have two thirds cup of white vinegar, two which is, is this is double, but this, right. the recipe calls for two thirds cup. And all these items that she's using, folks, like I said earlier, you can find them on our Amazon affiliate page. Mm -hmm. Just click on the link on our banner. So now I have to heat it, bring to a boil over medium high heat, stirring constantly, and gotta, gotta love natural gas, folks. Gotta love natural gas. Cook for 30 minutes until thickened. Get all that salsa, folks. Mm, 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 mm. All being cooked in the flat bottom pot, there, folks. Heavy bottom. Okay. So Lisa's getting ready to do some canning. Can I, can I stir this? Looky, look at this, folks. Is that going to be good? Now, have you put in any seasoning like salt, pepper, no. or anything? Okay. Okay. So you salt afterwards. Yes. Okay. To taste. 
man, folks, look at this. Can you imagine that on a chip? Mm, 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 mm. I shouldn't even be doing this, but Lisa let me, she gave me permission. Get everything laid out on your little rooster towel, huh? Lisa, yes. why'd the chicken cross the road? I don't know, why? Because! <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It fits so much better and looks so much better. Man, it says to oh leave. Man. It says to leave what? Uh, Half inch headspace, I believe. Okay, so you notice this this funnel has the little graduation marks on it, so you can see where the half inch is at. Mm -hmm. Yes, one half inch. I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see. So you can see that <clears throat> there's a quarter, there's a half, and there's three quarter. So you got a little bit more to go. And that's how you can tell if you have enough. Good. Yeah, one more. That's good. That's good right there. Perfect. So now you got about a half inch headspace. And what's that for, Lisa? What's that half inch headspace for? It's if it expands. So it has it enough, room. It has room to okay. expand. To burp out. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, this is hot. There's so pretty you, much no bubbles. And so what are you doing there? You're debubbling. Well, yeah, but yeah. it's it's a hot liquid, so. I got you. Really pretty much don't have bubbles because it's not uh, that thick. Yeah. There's not that much air gap. There's not enough space in there. Like if you were packing pickles or packing some kind of solid material. Yeah, meat or whatever. So I'm going to clean the rim because I can see it has that uh, tomato. So and that's, you're cleaning it with vinegar. With vinegar. With vinegar. You can use just a, a, a cloth, wet cloth, but you do need to. Um, now those, those glasses are warm, or those jars yes, are warm because she pulled them out of the water. I'm going back into, and going back the, into water. the water. And then once, once, um, once it comes to. Then we will process them in a water bath for 20 minutes, pint jars. That funnel is awesome. And by the way, that is also on our affiliate page. On affiliate page. Maybe I'll just go get a couple of chips. You can put them on my chips. <laughs> well, it's it's hot salsa. So yeah, it's know. hot. Yeah. I like some it. people some people like it hot at the restaurants. They'll warm it up, but some people like it cold, and we like it either way. Uh, I like cold, really. Yeah. Well, you're you're one way, and I'm the other, so we're either way. <laughs> we like it either way, hot or cold. I like it hot. Lisa likes it cold. And you just stir it each time before you um, before you fill the jar. Before you ladle. Because a lot of the, the heavy stuff sinks, so you won't get all liquid. You want to get a mixture, a nice mixture. Of solids and, and liquids. Solids and liquids, yeah. Goodness in there, folks. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. 
And it's really not going to be that hot. No, this is a, a well, mild. it's mild. Once we'll taste it. I know it, y'all saw jalapenos in there, but it, it's going to be mild. <laughs> Well, Lisa likes making the double batch. Why? Because she gets to can it. Yes. If you make one batch, it's really not enough to can. I mean, you can, but. Well, it, it says it makes five pints. So. Um, if she's going to can, she wants to make it worth her while. I don't know that it'll make 10. It doesn't look like there's enough to make 10. ¿Qué pasa, amigos? Look, Miss Lisa made me some salsa. I'm gonna love that. Mmm. -hmm. Like Senor Leo says, mmm. -hmm. Just saying. Okay. So, this, I finished, um, I did canning. This was not a canning video. It was just to make the salsa. But I did can, process the jars in a 20-minute boiling water bath. And then take the lid off in five minutes, and then you take, uh, let them set for five minutes in the water, and then take them out. And then tomorrow I'll wash them, and they've all sealed. I've heard them pop. Yeah, I heard but them anyway, go poop, 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 poop. So we're gonna do a taste test. Wow, look at that, folks. Isn't that nice? Nice and chunky. This way we like it. This is the. She likes her salsa and her husband. Nice and chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat that all day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Way to go. I could eat that all day long here. It's good on all right, folks. tacos, yeah, I'm gonna try. eggs. I don't have to say it better be good because I know it's gonna be good. Oh. It's good. All the flavors go together. Yeah, let me tell you. Wow, that's good. It's home when it's homemade. You know, it's just something something about being homemade. It tastes so much better. And oh my goodness! But it's mild. There's no. It's just a lot of the flavors. There's hey, no heat, no all, nothing. It's just, all these flavors are marrying together, and it just it's just awesome. Lisa, you stuck your toe in this one. Well, no. Literally, no, but... <laughs> Not literally, it's the same. It's so, good. is there anything else you want to say? Um, thank you to Tony at Kettle Kitchen and Blue, Blue Self-Reliance, for putting this collaboration together. And, um... Y'all go check out... Yeah. Y'all go check out all the other people's mm -hmm. uh, videios that are coming out this month. It it's is... It's Jar It Up, up July, July 20, 2023. 2023. Not 2.0, Jesse. That's right. Jarred up, up July, July 2023. And Monica at Bland's Promise Ranch, you can do it. There you go, Monica. She made the video just for you. <laughs> yep. That's it. All right. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. but we're not doing a salsa challenge. This is the Jar It Up July Challenge, hosted by none other than Lisa. No, it's not a challenge. Oh. Collaboration. Oh. We're not doing the salsa challenge. We're doing a collaboration called Jar It Up July. You see, I can't even finish the sentence. You were gonna say jam it up. No, I wasn't gonna no, say, were... no, it wasn't. I was gonna say jar, jam it, jam it, jar, 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 jar it up July 2.0. No, it's not even a 2.0. See folks, they gave me the wrong information. I don't even get the facts right because they're giving me wrong information. Okay, so it's perfect. Okay, so now, now, communication 
Really? <laughs> That'll be in the bloopers or the outtakes. <laughs> mm hmm. Andale, 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 hija. What do you say, Pedro? Oh, I'm very happy today because I'm going to get some guacamole and some cilantro and some salsa to eat with my tacos. Híjole. No guacamole. 